Hey everybody. So I was browsing on the Anycubic site looking for some information on my channel and I noticed there was an updated driver for the Mono X. My printer shipped with 3.4.8 and previously 3.4.7 was the only firmware available on the US Anycubic site. This one is an update so I downloaded it and just wanted to see what was new. It comes with these files and I open this readme.txt which is not particularly helpful. It doesn't tell you really anything about the features. It just says copy these three files to the root of your USB drive which I did. Just print this file. And I don't know what to expect after that. Just print it. Then print this one and this one. But only one of them is going to be the right one. So then it says print the 21 file, wait a while, if it's successful then it's fine. If it's a failure and it won't restart then I guess turn the printer off, turn the printer back on and try this. It's a pretty significant jump in my opinion to go from 3.4.8 which was the shipping firmware version at least when I got my uh, printer to 3.5.4. It seems like they skipped a whole bunch of numbers uh, in the meanwhile, unless I haven't checked this site in some time. Anyway, I copied all this to my uh, my thumb drive, and I guess let's give it a try and see what happens. So, I'll see you at the printer. Okay, here we are at the printer, and I just want to do a quick check. I'm going to power this on. Let's see how it goes here. So if I just pop over to System and Info, we can see I am on 3.4.8 and then UI V1.2. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So let's pop my flash drive in. Go to print and see. Okay, so it wants us to print this file first. I'm going to print it. See what happens. Do you want to upgrade? Enter or return? I'm going to go with enter. And now it says updating firmware, about to restart, and it is restarting. Let's pop back over to system info. Now this says 3.5.4, which is interesting because I don't see a dramatic difference yet. It does say we should also print mxf021.bin. Do I want to update? Let's see. Ah, update fail. Okay. Interesting. Let's try this one. Ooh. Okay, now interesting. MXFA036 did work for me where 021 did not. I don't know what the A means, but clearly this is doing something. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, it just auto restarted. Let's see what happens. I'll poke around in the menu. Okay, that looks okay. So if we pop over to system info, now it says 3.5.4. That's what it said before. And UIV 1.2, which is also what it said before when I ran the first file. The 036 bin file did work fine for my system. The 021 file bin file did not work at all. It failed immediately. I don't see a lot of different anything, really, uh, as far as options in here. And the, the release notes are pretty scant. By scant, I mean non-existent. Well, at least we're on the latest firmware, and so we can only imagine that something's been resolved in here that's going to be for the positive. I hope that helps someone. I tried to, uh, really tried to decode this in some way, but it's very mysterious. If I can hunt down some release notes uh, on the web somewhere, which I've been unsuccessful in doing so far, I'll definitely share those out after I cut this video. But I reached out to the good folks over at Anycubic to see if I could get some release notes, and they promptly replied 
with information about this firmware update. It seems to cover a number of anti-aliasing uh, bugs and bug fixes, I guess, uh, that you can read here as far as uh, using anti-alias level 8 and some of the functionality related to that. So this seems like if, you, if you're a fan of anti-aliasing and you've been having maybe some trouble with it, yeah, or if it's a feature you like to use often, this seems like a worthwhile firmware update. I'm glad they uh, responded to me. I, they don't post them regularly, but at least you know you can always reach out. In any event, the upgrade process went smoothly, and it looks like my Mono X uh, is updated. The bin files didn't have any difficulty. For reference, I'm using the USB drive that came with the Mono X, but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of other stuff just combined on here, a bunch of other models and things, even the test PWMX file. And I just plopped the bin files right at the root of the USB with a bunch of other models and things that I had printed, and it didn't have any problem. So hopefully you have the same experience, but we're all updated, and hopefully uh, there's some improvements here. And if I can hunt down what those improvements are, uh, I may even open a support case just for kicks because I found them to be pretty responsive. I might reach out to them and just ask, what's the difference? Uh, but in the event, I'm updated. Hope this is helpful for someone. Uh, my process went smooth, so I don't really know what to tell you if you run into issues because I didn't have to work through any of them myself, but some common troubleshooting tips. If you get in here and the files aren't visible, for whatever reason, or they're not responding, use the a different USB drive or go format it with just some generic FAT32 uh, and uh, block size of 4096. That seems to work pretty well. And then if you have a nice clean formatted USB drive, retry the bin files and try again. Uh, other than that, you can always try the USB flash drive that came with the Mono X if you still have it. For some reason, um, you know, they, they ship with a particular drive that seems to work best with the system, but I've, I've had decent success using other flash drives, so hopefully you have success. Anyway, I hope this helps. I don't know what is new yet because there's no clear difference here, and I don't have any release notes, but at least the process went well enough. Thanks for watching.